Earlier this year, a team of Dutch engineers visited Guyana to develop and test an approach for remodeling the hydraulic system in Georgetown. Acting Chief Executive Officer of the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, Frederick Flats, recently told this newscast that the overseas engineers came and conducted the exercise in parts of the city. There are a lot of local engineers that worked with them so that they can also acquire the modeling skills. And the whole plan of that was that our engineers will continue, continue that work in other drainage catchments. Basically, through information gathering, the team identified its target area, highlighted the problems and identified solutions. Their work was to take one part of the city and get a lot of the data concerning drains, culverts, bridges and so on within that area and model, do a hydraulic model of the area, which would show you for various levels of rainfall, what level of flooding you can expect. It also provided other critical analysis relative to the drainage situation in Georgetown. It would also show you if you need a pump and at what level of rainfall would you need a pump. So once you have that sort of information, you will know whether you need to have another sluice, have a larger sluice, if you need to bring in a pump, and what size of pump. A similar project undertaken by the Dutch team is expected to be conducted in other parts of the country and not just Georgetown only. The team had identified for modeling catchment areas at Liliendal and South Ramfeld. And Duncan H. GP Natalie News.